hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with another fgo servant analysis video um three more characters has come out in fgo uh, i'll be however i'll be reacting to only two characters here because the third character which is the welfare servant eo um i've we still haven't got any demonstration video you know where we see the animations uh all the other stuff has come out uh, i'm guessing uh like you know like people like everyone has not still not been able to get the welfare servant probably she'll be unlocked in a future date so after that i'm guessing we're going to get her demonstration video and all of that so i'm going to make a separate video for her later when her demonstration video is out there i'm going to look at eos uh noble phantasm uh, not noble phantasm uh the animations the skills and the ascension arts However, in this video, I'll only be reacting to EO's Noble Phantasm teaser. So for EO, only the Noble Phantasm teaser I'll be reacting to in this video. I'll make a separate video later on when her demonstration comes out. The other two servants, I'm going to react to them fully. You know, the demonstrations, the skills, their ascension arts and all of that, just like I usually do. So there'll be two videos. One video in the future date when EO's uh, demonstration will come out. So yeah, that's what I wanted to let you guys know. So guda guda. Seven has come out in freight grand order in jp and uh, yeah so uh recently like you know not recently but today uh guda guda 5 has come out in na so i was so surprised to suddenly see um uh, what's his name uh yama wait a minute uh yama yamanami keisuke you know being released as servant as a servant because i i was playing you know like i was rec also recording and that video will come out later on uh, my Guda Guda 5 video uh, gameplay video I was also I was playing and I saw him and then I was like wait a minute Did, didn't this guy just come out in JP and I was like ah there you go even EO has been mentioned in Guda Guda 5 you know like the first thing that happens is like you know like where EO is mentioned and when we meet Himiko EO is mentioned in Guda Guda 5 so I was like wow this is this is crazy like you know how in NA this comes out and similarly in jp we get eo and um uh, oh my god i again forgot his name case uh, yeah case case so <laughs> i was like wow this is crazy so yeah now um all right i'm going to be reacting to first the tvcm i'll be reacting to and uh, then the demonstration videos then the skills ascension arts all of that just like i usually do all the original videos will be linked down in the description box so yeah okay now let us begin the first video will be fate grand order uh and this like you know i'm wait a minute what is the name of this event just a sec uh this event's name is uh guda guda shin yamatai koku oh okay okay shin yamatai koku all right so yeah we will be we'll be reacting to the tvcm first let's go just a sec. God damn. What is up with the internet? I'll be I'll be starting it again. That was horrendous quality. Here we go. Oh, okay. Wow, this song is really good. Okay, that's it. All right, so that was the TVCM. Um, I'm guessing that was Eo, the girl we saw who was kicking. And wow, the song is really good. I, I, oh my God, I'm, I'm really waiting for this song to come out. This song, this song seems really good. Like I remember even uh, Guda Guda Yamatai Koku, like you know the Guda Guda 5 that we are having now had an amazing song, you know, uh, sung by Kocho, I think, you know, um, that song and oh my god, I love that song so much uh, that I actually kind of downloaded it and kept, like you know, kept on my computer. Now, I'm, as I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to find that song out in, 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 on the internet, I cannot find it anywhere nowhere in youtube that song exists thank god i actually have it on my computer because i love that song so much you know that song and uh, yeah like uh, guda guda 5 song was amazing this this one this one also sounds really good like I, I hope it comes out um i'm sure it will come out all right um so there you go there you go that was the tvcm 
Um, uh, here we can see, we saw uh, Yo, I'm guessing that was Yo. Uh, that girl, the, the new girl that we, um, uh, that, that has come out, what's her name? Sen no Rikyo, I think, something like that. Uh, Sen no Rikyo, okay, Sen no Rikyo. I think that was that girl. Uh, we also saw uh, Okita for a little moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then there was like battling. There was a few other things. Oh, um, uh, Okita um, Alter was also there. And uh, yeah. Okay, that was TVCM. So the first character that I'll be watching the sermon demonstration will be Sen no Rikyo, Berserker, sermon demonstration. Here we go. Oh, she's making tea? Wait, what? She gives you tea? Oh, that's an interesting noble phantasm, just gives you tea and you die? Oh my god! Oh, that's a very interesting sprite! She's like floating! Oh, that's cool! The way she's talking, is she like a grandmother or something? Wait, what? Whoa, backhand slap! <laughs> wow, this is a really interesting animation god oh my god yo these nobles are crazy they're critting okay oh i love her character sprite i love the way she's like floating and all Alright. <laughs> she also punches the enemy. <laughs> Damn. Oh! Oh wow! Hahaha! <laughs> Okay, her animations are really unique. <laughs> oh, the nobles are just... Alright, so she's, an, uh, she's a quick noble phantasm user. Oh! Oh damn, that's good! Cool. She just gives you tea and slaps you. Yeah. <laughs> My most favorite animation out of this is the backhand slap. I just love that. She just <laughs> he gives you a backhand slap like this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. You saw her eyes changing? <laughs> Alright, let's see the noble phantasm again. Alright. Oh, this is such a peaceful noble phantasm. Oh, wow. Oh, 
ことにございました。利休感激でございます。So, my guess is she's like a grandma, you know, like she's like a she's like an older woman. You know, she's like, I don't know, like the way she's talking and everything, it seems like, you know, like how older people will. Oh, that's a beautiful dress. Wow. What a beautiful dress. ただ飲むばかりにございます。ゆえに、一期一会と。Okay. Oh wow, the, look at the, 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 the design, the em, uh, embroidery or whatever that is on the dress. Wow, this is beautiful. Alright, let's see. Let's see the animation here. Is she going to slap you? Oh no, okay. Uh, she's just going to punch you, okay? Wait, the animations are still the same. Wait a minute. Second ascension. Wait, so she doesn't have. She doesn't have any change in animations in her ascension arm? Yoroshi <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll try to find out if this this is Ascension 2. That was Ascension 1. I think Ascension 3 should have a different one, shouldn't it? Oh no, this is new. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, what was that? That thing that... Okay. <laughs> Animations are a little bit different. Most of it's the same. Like you know, you see this the backhand slap and everything. This one is a little bit different. The the her dress kind of comes up. Okay. Alright, let's look at a Nova Phantasm again. Like here, you can see, she sits down, you know, like... And uh, since the dress is covering her, the animation is a little bit different, that's why. Wait, what is that blue thing she has in her hand? Is that a flower? What is that? Tada wakashi, tada tate, tada no mubakari ni gozaimasu. Okay. Omiyoto ni gozaimashita. Rikyu kangeki de gozaimasu. And there you go. That was. All right. Let's look at the summoning lines and all that. I think she's like a, uh, like, you know, like an old lady or something like that. The way she talks and everything kind of resembles an older lady. Like, you know, like, you know, like, a, like a grandma or something. Let's see. Rikyu, 
御前にまかりこしてございます利休召喚とはいえこれも何かのご縁以後よろしくお願い申し上げます OK Wait, is that a hand? この姿は何 I realize that now. That's a hand on top of a shoulder. ああ、私もこの体にはまだ慣れておりませんので、ご無礼がありましたら、ひらにご容赦を。Oh my god, I didn't even realize that was a hand. リキュー、成長。Okay. Is this the second ascent? She loves black, black dress. Yeah. <laughs> She's talking about the person on the shoulder. Oh my god! Yo! Okay, fine! <laughs> Okay. バレてはいたしかたございません。さよう。こちらに控え氏物も私にございます。では、物言うこちらの私はと言えば。いずれはお分かりになることでしょう。いや、しずしからな。みなぎってまいります。Okay. What? Oh, wait, is that why? Oh, that's why it doesn't have a third ascension. Is it locked? I think so. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have to make another video on the, her as well. I was thinking, I was like, shouldn't her,、uh, you know, like her.、Um, What do you call it? The, the, the demonstration change in the third ascension. Like, they don't show the third ascension. I'm like, I was confused. I was like, what's going on here? But okay, makes sense. So I'm guessing it's locked or something like that. All right, so when I'll be making Yo's video, I'll also include this. I'm pretty sure she, you know, this will also come out by that time or something like that. So, you know what? Still, I'm going to double check if she has,、uh, like, you know, her demonstration.、Um, Just a sec. From another channel, if a demonstration has a third ascension there or, or not. Just a second. Okay,、uh, I tried to check it out. Yeah, her third ascension is nowhere to be found. That means it's still locked. So I'm guessing it's either going to be unlocked as、uh, the, the event in, in like, you know, moves forward or something else. So when the third ascension will come out, Um, I'm definitely going to make another video. And like I said, I'll also, I'll also include EO's demonstration there as well. So, because I've also not been able to find EO's demonstration, demonstration still, it's not still not out. So, those two will be in another video that I make.、Uh, but, all right, now, first of all, I need to check out who this person is Sen no Rikyu. Sen no Rikyu. Like, originally, like, you know, in the original history, who this person is. All right, Sen no Rikyu.、Um, Also known as simply Rikyu, is considered the historical figure with the most profound influence of Chanoyu, the Japanese way of tea. Okay, particularly the tradition of Wabicha. He was also the first to emphasize several key aspects of the ceremony, including rustic simplicity, directness of approach, and honesty of self. Originating from the Sengoku period and the Azuchi Momoyama period, these aspects of tea ceremony persist. Rikyu is known by many names for consistency. He will be referred to as Rikyu in this article. Okay. Uh, uh, there are three Iemoto, Soke, or head houses of Japanese way of tea that are directly descended from Rikyu the Omote Senke, Ura Senke, and Mushakoji Senke, all three which are dedicated to passing forward the teachings of the mutual family founder Rikyu. Okay, wait, so this, this person was a male, so another gender went serpent. Okay, <laughs> all right, so that was Sen no Rikyu. Oh, so, okay, so she's like, you know, like he, she over here,、uh, like, you know, like,、uh, like tea, like, does like tea ceremonies and like, it's, like, you know, like, is, is known for making tea and not making tea, but 
uh, the way of tea or uh, like related to that and uh, you know the tea ceremony that we see i'm guessing like you know he was the one who who, who was like the one who popularized it i'm guessing something like that let me know you know let me know and all right so uh, that that's uh, senno riku now her animations i'll be uh, like you know I'll, I'll say this um is very unique it's so unique you know the <laughs> like the first uh, character sprite is also very unique she's just sitting there you know and there's like like you know floating that i i really liked that that uh, sprite it's I, I don't think i've ever seen uh yeah i've seen like you know like character sprites floating like this we've seen before but this seems a way more uh different because she's actually sitting you know she's actually sitting down and uh, she's actually floating like that i don't think we ever had any servant like this who's just sitting and floating so that's why i was very impressed with the character sprite uh the first one obviously the second one also looks really beautiful um not only that uh, we can see that um, her character and anim uh, the animations, the ones that I really loved was, you know, like her, her backhand slap was amazing. I don't know why, but that that's my favorite, you know, <laughs> she just goes and you know, backhand slaps you with that thing. And uh, yeah, now the, 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 the black miasma or whatever, the back black aura or whatever that's coming out of her. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Is that like some kind of a power or is is that something else like you know for a moment i thought maybe that was tea or something like that you know but it's probably something else but <laughs> yeah but she she attacks with that and then sometimes she uses the flower that she has on her in her hand i think like kind of uses that to attack i think and yeah that's basically it. she doesn't attack directly she just goes towards the enemy and just like you know punches with those the black miasma thing and gives a backhand slap and uh, like you know that beam that she uses and all that stuff she does a noble phantasm is really interesting she just serves you tea basically that and the enemies you know just get damaged <laughs> and i think this is like you know like this is the first time i've actually seen like a character kind of sitting down in front of the enemies like i was so surprised when i saw her sitting down and in front of her like are three enemies just standing there and she's like giving them tea i'm like wow this is i don't think i've ever seen something like this before <laughs> that was that was very good that's that was a, a very unique way that the noble phantasm kind of you know plays out and obviously after that the enemies get dealt damage the first ascension was that the second ascension however there's a little bit of change you know not much um basically the the dress she's wearing is different and I really love the dress, the black dress that she's wearing. And uh, sometimes we see like, a, like, you know, like her, the back part of her dress kind of goes up and you know, like something happens. I'm guessing that one was the same person who has the hand on top of her shoulders. I really did not realize that that thing was actually a hand. I thought that was part of the dress. You know, I thought that was a design or something. And then when I was looking at her summoning lines, I'm like, wait a minute, is that a hand? <laughs> so, okay, there you go. Now, yeah, the, and, and the, obviously the third ascension is locked, so we've still not seen that. I'll talk about it when we see that and when it's unlocked and we get more video on it. All right, and the summoning lines are interesting. She's just like, you know, like she's just saying like, oh, like, you know, thank you for like, you know, like um, summoning me and all that. Nothing much, uh, nothing much she talks about. Uh, she also talks about how she likes her black dress you know she asks the master what do you think and when i think I'm, I'm probably thinking Rizka probably asks her where is the person behind you the hand and she says something like oh you don't have to worry about it and then her expression completely changes you know those the, the crazy eyes that anime characters have sometimes <laughs> they look at you like that <laughs> and she's like you look and she's like yeah like you know like don't ask me about that ever again or something like that she says and I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, you know, chill, I understand. <laughs> no one's going to ask you about them. And uh, yeah, so there you go. All right, so that was, that was very good. That was, that was, that was really, like, you know, like a really unique, you could say noble phantasm or something. And uh, the attacks as well, you know, like, I, I like it. I really like it. So there you go. All right, the next character 
is the other character who has come out, uh, the saber, Yama Nami Keisuke, uh, part of the Shinsengumi, and uh, uh, we've already met him in Guda Guda 5. I'm currently playing it now, you know, also recording the gameplay. All right, let's start. Yama Nami Keisuke Saber Servant Demonstration. Here we go. Yamazakura. Oh wait, is that him? Oh, interesting. Wow. Oh, so she's, he's a buffer. Okay. Oh! You! She just breaks your neck. Oh wow, that was cool. That was cool. You, you know, like he kind of does that to the sword. And the blood comes off. Okay. Wait, what? Oh wow, this is good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's an arse character, okay. Oh my god, this is... He stabs... You and keep the weapon. Damn, who would have wondered? He's like this, like, kind of like in, in the game, like in Guda Guda 5, that I'm playing it now. He's so calm and everything, and obviously, these type of characters always have this type of a thing within them. And obviously, he's part of the Shinsengumi, so yeah. He has. He has seen his fair share of fights. Okay. Oh, an ad is coming. All right. Ah, so da. Kui wa nai. Kui nanka saisho kara nakatta da. Talking about regret. I don't have any regrets or something like that, he says. Oh, this one's really good. It breaks your neck completely. Ah, the blood splatter. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Alright, let's see. His NP for the final time. Okay, um His NP is really good, I have to say, for a four-star character. Like in the animation that we see is really good. Like here. Like this animation here. Like usually five-star characters has these type of animations, but yeah, he he has one. Wow. Okay, there you go. Oh, he's like Okay, alright, let's see her his summoning lines and everything. Oh no, wait, this is... 
Oh, this is the second ascension or is it the Queen Queen and Third Ascension, okay. Oh so he's like here he's wearing his Howdy, the Saint Shangami Howdy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, I, I really like this one. This one is really good. Where he stabs the weapon and keeps it there and uses the other weapon to attack. Okay. あ、私の番ですね。承知しました。行きます。ああ。そうだ。悔いはない。悔いなんか最初からなかったんだ。<laughs> Alright, the skill animations are just him reading the book, I'm guessing. And oh, and this one. Okay, so I'm guessing he has some kind of a relationship with uh, Sakura Petals. Like, we, we're seeing even in his Noble Phantasm, we can see him in his hands, there's Sakura Petals, so... <laughs> oh, the little glimmer in the blade that happens. Wow. みんなの未来を開くため承知しました行きます山桜散りて後なき花ぞ見さまし Hmm. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I Alright, so now the summoning. Alright, here we go. Okay, there you go. That's him. Shinsengumi 
<coughs> and there we go. This one is the one with Yeah. Yeah, what is this dress? Oh, there's something she used to do behind the. There's no records of it. So it's like a hidden side. Okay. So I'm guessing uh, probably some dirty jobs or something like that. Like, you know, like. Something like that. Like, とある任務で折れてしまってね。元通りのこの刀をまた震えるとは思っていなかったよ。いや。何でもないよ。ノスタルジック、オッケー。あの時代を共にかけた仲間たちのことをね。ああ。何が正しく、何が間違いであったか。そうではないのです。そこに正しさも間違いもない。ただ己の誠を己の道をまっすぐに進めばよい。マスター。その道を進んでください。私もお助けいたします。And there you go. Okay, that was um Yamanami Kesuke. Okay, um let me check out. I do know obviously I don't do know his part of the Shinsengumi. Uh but more details about him, Yamanami Kesuke. Uh Yamanami Kesuke uh, was a uh, uh, Japanese samurai. He was the general secretary, vice commander of the Shinsengumi, uh, a special police force in Kyoto during the Edo period. Um, wait a minute. Um, I'm guessing he was uh, like a part of another group of the Shinsengumi. I, I think uh, Shinsengumi had like quite a few divisions because, as far as I can remember, um, uh, wait. Uh, who was the vice commander? Hijikata was. Wasn't Hijikata the? Kondo was the captain of the Shinsengumi. Hijikata was the vice captain, wasn't he? Let me check. And uh, okay, Hijikata Toshizo, uh, vice commander of Shinsengumi. All right, uh, he is the vice commander. Wait, what? The general secretary. Oh, and I'm guessing he's part of another, like, you know, not the whole Shinsengumi. Shinsengumi, as far as I know, has a lot of groups, like a lot of divisions between them. For example, I think Okta was captain of one of the groups. You know what? Let me check. Okta so G. Uh, I think Okta was a captain of one of those divisions. Uh, captain of the first, there you go, unit. Yeah, the first unit of Shinsengumi. Okta Soji was the captain. And uh, so these units, I'm guessing he was also like the vice commander of one of the units correct me if i'm wrong uh, i'm talking about yamanami keisuke because uh, the vice commander of, of the whole shinsengumi was hijikata kondo was a captain so yeah i'm guessing keisuke was vice commander of a unit or am i wrong let me know and um hajime was the captain of another unit i'm guessing um saito hajime let me check saito hajime i'm guessing he was Captain of okay, where it is? Third unit of Shinsengumi, captain. There you go. So yeah, they're, they're divided into units. And uh, all right, there you go. So that was um, Yamanami Keisuke. Now Yamanami Keisuke has a very simple animation, like you know, like nothing too crazy, but it's very interesting. Uh, the parts that I really loved about his animations 
is number one the one where he grabs like you know, the enemy and kind of breaks the neck or whatever uh the the <laughs> The, the sound effect alongside it was it was really good uh, not only that there was another one where i just loved how he put you know like he put the sword left it there took out another sword and attacked you know and the blood splatter is really good like you know at the end of the animation he kind of puts down his sword and kind of does this the blood splatters on the ground and then kind of puts it inside that was also really good like i love the like you know the little blood splatters and all that that happens those special effects that they give and yeah his noble phantasm is a buff type noble phantasm i'm guessing um and it kind of increases the offensive abilities i think and uh yeah and uh like the the animation that we saw like i said i've, I've usually seen animations like this in five star characters he's a four star character but he also got like you know a little animation with the sakura petals and all that so yeah and i'm guessing the whole sakura petals and everything is probably related to his lore i'm not quite sure but yeah so there you go that was yamanami keisuke and in his summoning lines and everything he talks about uh, another thing he talks about there is like a a job that he used to do it's kind of like a like a like a like you know what do you call it like a like a hidden job you know that's that's what the second ascension is about you know the, the dress that she's where he's wearing and uh, like you know like like a part of his past like you know like probably some kind of a hidden job that he used to do like on dirtying his own hands something like that and uh, yeah he, he talks about that so there you go that was yamanami keisuke now like i said i'm going to react to eos noble phantasm teaser here i'll like you know when his, her whole kit and not kit but her whole like you know, skills and everything will come out uh, not skills sorry the demonstration is going to come out i'm going to do that in a separate video so i'm not going to be looking at eos skill or her ascension arts or anything related to eo in this video i'll only be reacting to her noble phantasm i'll do the rest of it in the other video where i'll react to eo and um wait what was her name i forgot senno senno riku yeah senno riku's third ascension when it comes out in that video i'm going to do all those two things so yeah all right um let's see the uh, uh, noble phantasm teaser eo ruler noble phantasm teaser here we go One thing, she looks so much like Himiko, doesn't she? Like, look at her face. Her voice is completely different. Okay. Whoa, wow. That's a flashy noble phantasm. Okay. So there you go that was the teaser and like i said i'll be reacting to everything when her demonstration comes out in a separate video but one thing like i said her face is so much like himiko i like you know it's, it's i feel like it's a copy paste completely you know she she looks a little bit younger however like and her face is a little bit smaller i don't know but her face her eyes and everything looks so much like himiko like it's crazy uh, obviously she's himiko's disciple as far as i know like i've played the first First part of Guda Guda Five, I think Himiko herself says over there, like she's my she was my disciple. So yeah. Okay, so there you go. That was all of the demonstrations. Now I'll be looking at um, the characters. Like I said, Io, I won't be doing it in uh, her in this video. I won't be looking at her uh, stuff in this video. So yeah. Now the first character is um, Sen no Rikyu. Now, obviously, the third ascension is locked. Also, the final ascension art is also locked. So we only have two, two ascension arts to look at. So, okay, the first one is this one. So we saw this, you know, like she's like, wait a minute, let me check. You know what I thought at the beginning, the, the thing that was coming out of here, I thought there was an axe. I really thought that was either an axe or a part of the dress. Later on, I realized that's a that's a hand. I don't know whose hand that is, but yeah. And this looks so much like a horror anime or whatever. You know, in the background, look at the background, and uh, like you know, like all that. Like I don't know why, but her her character design is, reminds me so much of Higurashi. You know, like the background and everything, and you know, like all that. Like it reminds me so much of Higurashi. Higurashi no Nakukoro and 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like probably like you know her character design, you know, like because Hirashi has a lot of characters who look like this, you know, like little girls. Uh like even though she's not a little girl, I think she's probably like old. But still. And uh yeah, now uh her dress here is obviously like a that dress, like it's like a uh like a yukata kind of thing. And uh she was kind of sitting in the like you know in the character spread, she was sitting down and uh, the the frilly part of her dress was probably floating and i really liked that so yeah he, she has like a little cap or, or i don't know what that is on her head and uh, i do wonder what this hand is about i'm pretty sure it's probably in in the game they'll explain it but yeah we still don't know what the hand is about and uh, yeah oh she, i can see she's like holding a branch a tree branch that's interesting and uh, yeah, like I said, this this reminds me like you know this picture, the background and everything. It kind of gives like a little spooky little vibe. I don't know why, but it's it's, it's really good. You know, it's kind of very interesting. So yeah, that was the first ascension art. The second ascension art is this one. This one, I loved the dress. I really love the dress here. You know, especially the little cat, the design, embroidery on the dress that she has. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a full black dress, you know. She she's like uh, she has the same little hat that she had. And uh, now, what is this? And on her hand, is that a flower? I think that's a flower, isn't it? A blue flower. Yeah. And the person behind her, the hand, is missing here. However, I think that person is probably uh, like at the back part of her dress because whenever she attacks, that part of the dress kind of comes up. <laughs> yeah i think that's what's going on uh yeah i love this ascension art however we've still not been we've still not seen third and the fourth ascension art so yeah i look at those two in the next video that i make uh you know like in eos video i look at them but yeah for now these two are the only ascension arts we have okay let's look at her skills the first skill is called um simplicity at its finest a minus uh increase party's quick performance by three turns oh party okay increases party's np generation rate by three turns oh wow increase uh gains crit stars quick increase is 10 percent at level one and 20 percent at level 10 np rate uh, gain is uh 10 percent at level one and 20 percent at level 10 np generation rate not np gain sorry np generation rate okay 10 percent at level one and 20 percent at level 10 and crit starts is 5, gain 5 crit starts at level 1 and 15 at level 10. Okay, that's a decent skill. It, it gives you a party of boost. So, yeah, and also gives like an NP generation. It's going to really help in looping, you know, and uh, you know, the little, that extra NP generation rate, I'm guessing. Okay, the second ascension, uh, uh, sorry, the second um, skill. This is called a single flower B. Oh, a single flower. Okay, that flower, I'm guessing. Uh, charges one allies NP gods. Oh, so she's she's the character who increases NP gods. All right, overcharges their NP by two stages for one time. Oh wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> what this is? Okay, this is like Himiko's skill, noble phantasm. Overcharges their NP by two stages for one time, three turns, and grants them invincibility for one attack, three turns. Okay, this is a really good one. Uh, NP generation, uh, NP uh, gain is 20% at level 1 and 30% at level 10. Wow, so this skill basically charges, overcharges that character's NP by two stages. Now, like I said, it's, it kind of reminds me of N uh, Himiko's Noble Phantasm a little bit. However, Himiko's Noble Phantasm gives the whole party that boost. This one, however, is only one character. So I guess that's the difference here, basically. Okay, now that was the second skill. The third skill is called Yugen Taru Kuro A. Uh, increases own critical damage for three turns. Increases own critical damage of quick cut cards by three turns. Oh, grants self on attack activate debuff for three turns. Debuff. Okay, inflicts defense down by 10% for three turns to enemy when attacking with quick cards. Ah. Uh, Okay, it's one of those attack uh, on like you know like uh, uh, on attack activate things where the more you hit with those cards, the more okay. Uh, it's kind of like hoaxai skill where you know like if you use um 
uh, arts card your defense goes down here it's quick card and the defense go down so okay there you go it's kind of like that and uh, all right so she's like a aoe quick berserker hmm interesting so a lot of people is probably going to use her with skadi and everything all right uh, the crit damage is increased by 30% at level 1 and 50% at level 10, okay? Uh, while quick crit damage is uh, increased by 30% at level 1 and 50% at level 10. Oh, also, okay. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Alright, I, I have to say, I think, like, the second skill is quite good. The third skill is also really good, you know, because the on-skill activation, the defense down, not only that, the quick card crit increase also is quite good by it, it's going to increase it by 50 percent not only uh quick card uh crit damage but also normal crit damage is also going to get increased by 50 percent so like a total 100 percent i'm guessing 100 percent increase in crit damage using quick cards okay that's good that's quite really good all right and if if if, if you kind of uh, you know like uh, pair her up with skadi i'm guessing skadi's like you know skill also helps increasing the crit damage and all that so that's also going to further increase her crit damage in quick cards okay good really good like um, i can see like you know how uh jp is uh, again like you know trying to bring quick cards back like you know like at first uh, quick like you know we had the whole quick meta going on when skadi came in very soon you know everyone was like you know, using skadi and the quick cards and then in came castoria arts card super messy started you know meta arts card become becomes a meta and Koyaska came, then as everyone's also started using Koyaska, the buster card, you know, it also gets like a really big boost. And uh, then, uh, like, you know, female Merlin came, like, you know, like uh, uh, Lady Avalon with the whole, like, you know, thing. And not only that, uh, Ibuki came, further increasing arts card, like, you know, like farming and all of that. But at the same time, we got the revamp with the quick cards where it, like, you know, I think the crit uh, starts kind of increased to 20. Not only that, the whole brave card chain or whatever you call it, I don't know what it's called, but that thing where you use Q, A and uh, like, you know, B and it gives you like an increase, all that stuff included, you know, it, it like heavily boosts your quick card and now quick is again coming back here. So there you go. I think, I think that's basically what's happening. That's good. You know, I like how there's like, um, like, you know, all the characters kind of get like a upgrade little by little. Like it's, it's not only that one you know only quick cards getting the updates and um, buster card is just just laying around nothing not like that Every, everyone's getting little by little upgrades which is nice so okay now let me look at the past passive skills because most a lot of the times the passive skills are really good mad enhancement x savvy what increase on buster performance by 10 percent wow increase on critical damage by five percent temporary creation wabi a Increase on arts performance by 8%, increase on mental debuff resistance by 20%. Okay. Uh, artistic aesthetic T A increase on debuff success rate by 10%. Unfettered and flexible B increases on NP generation rate by quick cards by 10%, which is also good. The noble phantasm is called Ichi Go Ichi A. One more time. Uh, one time, one meeting. Sorry. Ichi Go Ichi A. Uh, it's uh, okay. Uh, deals damage to all enemies, steals their NP for 1 turn, oh, okay, inflicts curse with 1000 damage for 5 turns to them. Okay, the NP, NP level 1 damage is 600%, at NP level 5 is 1000%. And overcharge effects is deal extra damage against enemies with man attribute, okay, okay. Uh, uh, extra damage is at 100% charge is 150%, at 500% chance is 200%. So, okay, there you go. So, AoE quick card, you know, like, yeah, you can probably loop her as well. Very, yeah, you can easily loop her. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, especially with the, she, she has a passive, passive skill of increasing NP generation rate by quick cards, which is also going to help to loop. And she has quite a few uh, NP related skill kit, which is going to help your an NP generation. So, she can be looped, I'm guessing, with Skadi. And uh, with Skadi, her quick cards are also going to get further increased, the, like, you know, strength, because Skadi has the critical increase, like, you know, that thing. And also Skadi has a lot of quick card buffs. So, yeah. So, basically, I'm, 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 I'm guessing you have to use her with Skadi. Uh, someone similar to Skadi. Maybe Daikokuten, I don't know. I'm, I've not seen a lot of people talk about Daikokuten, but when I, I remember when I saw Daikokuten, I was really impressed with Daikokuten's kit as well. 
So like a mini SCADI or something like that. Something like that, I'm guessing. All right, um, that was uh, Sen no Riku. Uh, the other two Ascension art, I'll look at them later on, you know, in the next video. All right, the next character is Yamanami Keisuke. The first Ascension art is this one. All right, so there you go. He's like wearing his normal, uh, like, like, a, like a normal dress and everything. I like his hairstyle and like it's like going in this kind of, kind of cool. He has, he has two swords. And the glasses there, he has like a glove. And uh, yeah, it's a very normal dress we can see he's wearing. And nothing much to talk about. Like, you know, like he's just, he's just wearing this dress and just, yeah. All right. The next one is the one where he changes a lot. Where is it? Just a sec. Um, all right, here it is. This one, as he says in his summoning lines, uh, or no, sorry, ascension lines that this is the dress he used to wear when he used to use some kind of do some like hidden job, you know, uh, something like that, like the the other side of his like you know story or whatever, and yeah, it looks like that. I mean, it looks like he's like in some kind of a like a uh, like a secret mission or something like that, you know, like some kind of a you know like the the other side of you know whatever, like that kind of a thing. And probably she, he was like, and he had to do some kind of a dirty job, you know, like which stains his blood, uh, hands with blood or something like that, I'm guessing. So, yeah. Now, uh, obviously he has like a little mask. He, he, he doesn't have the glasses, I think. He, yeah, he, he doesn't have the glasses. He has a mask. And uh, her hair, his hairstyle is the same. The, the, the two souls are there and yeah. So, other than that, everything is kind of similar. His dress and everything is also kind of similar. It's different, but it's kind of similar. Yeah, the main thing here is obviously the mask and you know the glasses is gone so yeah there you go yeah this one's cool however the one i like the most is the next one this one is the most beautiful one where this one obviously wearing the shinsengumi haori and i i really love this ascension art this one this one this ascension art is so good uh, even the background is so beautiful you know it's like the moonlight is shining kind of like in a background the, the uh, cherry blossoms are there I'm guessing those are cherry blossoms and uh, you know kind of it kind of matches the whole like you know like aesthetic or whatever and even the blue howry that he's wearing and you know like the what do you call it the, the swords and everything uh, you know what one thing I could see here he's he's really well built I can see it from here you know like uh, he, he's like wearing baggy clothes in the first two ascension here here is she's also wearing baggy clothes but i'm like looking at his neck now <laughs> his neck is huge like he's, he's like a well-built person like obviously he's part of the shinsengumi i know that but you know like certain guy like you know, hajime and all of them they're, they're muscular as well but you know they have like a what can i say like you know they have like a like lean build or whatever um he however his neck is massive i can see that or is it just my eyes playing trick on me? I don't know. I feel like he's well built. Like he's actually like very big person. <laughs> Something like that. I'm seeing that now. But anyways, uh, I love this Howry. I love the whole dress, the aesthetic and everything. You know, like it looks extremely calm. And yeah, this, this one's beautiful. This one's a really beautiful Ascension art. And the final Ascension art is this one. Uh, where he's just like kind of looking at like a bird. Uh, from uh, like, you know, the, the way he talk, talks and everything from like the, the interactions and everything we could see that he probably doesn't like fighting you know he also that I remember one of his uh, 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 kind of, uh, animation lines he says something like um, what does he say he says something like fighting you know it, it should be avoided or something like that he says you know? which kind of shows how he doesn't like fighting but obviously he has to fight and something like that he's like a uh, very calm and chill person who likes like you know these type of peaceful times but obviously he's part of the shinsengumi he has that 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 job that hidden job that he has so he has like you know, he has to stay in his hands with blood and uh, yeah something like that so there you go this is a beautiful this final ascension art is beautiful okay let's look at his skills the first one is called warrior but literate <laughs> okay Increases party's attack for three turns. Uh, increases party's NP generation rate by 10. Oh my god, wow. It gained 10 crit stars. 
Oh, he's also kind of increased party's attack and increased party's entry generation. Okay, attack increased 10% at level 1, 20% at level 10, 10% at level 1 NP generation rate, and also 10, 20% uh, at level 10. And again, crit, 10 crit stars. Okay, uh, an okay skill, decent skill. Uh, she's also, he's also like a party, I'm guessing support character. The second skill is called Beauty of Nature C, increases its own quick performance for 3 turns. Okay, increases on arts performance for three turns, charges on NP gods by three turns, uh, by, by 20%. Sorry, all right, another uh, offensive and uh, like you know, support skill as well. Uh, quick increase at level one is 20%, at level 10 is 30%, which is quite decent. Uh, arts increase at, at level one is 20%, at level 10 is 30%. Wow, this is quite good. And not only that, uh, it also it charges your NP gods by 20%. So, yeah. Another offensive kind of increases of NP gods as well, that type of a skill. The third skill is called the kind one, B. Grants party evasion one attack by three turns. Okay, party evasion, nice. Recovers party's HP, removes party's ailment debuffs. Okay, uh, poison, burn, and curse. Wow, this is a good skill. Uh, the recovers party HP at level one is 200 and level 10 is 300. Uh, not, sorry, not 200, 2000, sorry. At level 10 is 3000. Okay, wow, this is quite good. It, it, it helps your party heal. Wow, that's, that's, that's nice. Party, like, you know, not only one character, like the whole party will get healed by 3000 HP. Even him. Okay, I, I, this skill is really good, I feel like. You know, it also removes the ailment debuffs. The ailment debuffs can be a pain, if you know, you know, like in CQs and stuff, where one stacks on top of the other and it's like takes like half of your health out in one turn it's a pain so yeah like i i always like when i never used to look at these type of skills where they, they used to uh, before you know when i didn't do youtube uh, i never used to look at these type of skills which in, like you know, decreases or like you know takes out the ailment debuffs and all that i never used to look at them that much but now after like you know doing youtube and playing the cqs i really appreciate all of those skills which actually takes out the debuffs like it's so much help the debuffs are a pain, com like a complete pain in the CQs. It's crazy. So yeah, I appreciate these now. <laughs> All right, and also it gives you like an uh, evasion for one attack. So there you go. Uh, she it doesn't have much passive skills. Increase on debuff resistance by twelve point five percent, magic resistance, and riding is like increases on quick performance by two turn percent. All right. Okay, his noble phantasm, Yama Sakura or Mountain Sakura, uh, increases party's attack for three turns. Oh, party, okay. Gains 10 crit stars every turn for three turns. Increases the critical damage of Shinsengumi allies by 50%. Wow, by three turns. At level one, attack, uh, NP level one, attack percent increases 20%. At level five, it's a 40% increase, which is really good. Wow, 40% increase in attack. Okay, good. Uh, overcharge effect increase NP's uh, party's NP gods. Okay, uh, at 100% uh, uh, overcharge NP gods 10%, and at 500% it's a 30%. Okay, I feel like he's a type of a character uh, who, if you increase his NP level, is really helpful. It's really beneficial. You actually need him in NP5. You know, if you really want to unlock his full potential, he's that type of character. Like his NP, like an attack increase will be 40%. Like an like a extra 20% increase you'll get and not only that you're also it's going to also increase the party's NP gods by 30% at NP level 5 so there you go so yeah he's like a like a like a party buffer kind of a character so even uh, uh Sen no Rikyo was also like a party support and also like a support herself as well like you know that type of a character he's as well so it's kind of a mixed like you know like a support and a dps kind of a character i guess both of them in a way yeah that's that's uh yama yamanami keisuke so there you go so i'll end this video here like i said i look at eos uh like you know everything eos skills eos all like all the stuff in the next video that i make when i get her noble phantasm uh, uh when i get her uh, animation demonstration when when it comes out i'll react to her and also i'll also include um uh, Sen no Rikyo's third ascension when that also unlocks so yeah like I'll do that in a separate video in the future so, there you go that was it so yeah these are the newest characters in FGO
um, will I summon for them? Probably not, because like it, you know what, like Senoriko looks really good. You know, I have to say, like you know, her her skill kits and everything it looks really good. It's 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 like you know, it's like a really good type of a skill kit. I feel like you know, like it's going to help a lot. But I will probably not try to get them because I'm pretty sure by this time I won't have any SQ left. You know, like you know, all those characters that are going to come, you know, like uh, uh, Arquid is coming, and then like you know, the summer characters, like it's crazy, crazy stuff is going to happen. Like you know, Merlin, Ibuki, like like Skadi, like yeah, I doubt I'll have anything left by this time. So yeah, I probably won't. I probably won't summon for these characters and i'm guessing a few like you know like in the future a lot of also really good characters will come out for those characters i'll probably have to save with so i'll probably be skipping this banner so we'll see we'll see about it when it comes uh but yeah so there you go that's it thank you for watching guys this was my servant analysis video for um these characters the guda guda seven characters and uh, yeah i'll make another video when the rest of the things comes out thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that is it guys thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video and like i said i'll be doing my starting my guda guda gameplay the first uh, video has already been recorded i'll upload it tomorrow and uh, yeah you know we'll we'll be starting with guda guda 5 and i'll go through the gameplay like i usually do and uh, yeah, so see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.